Hello on this Monday, the 11th of February, 2008. I'm Rebecca Field in for Kristen Volk today with the UPI headline update. Senator Barack Obama is riding a wave of momentum into tomorrow's Potomac primaries after sweeping the weekend's presidential contests and even winning a Grammy. Obama took the lead over his rival, Senator Hillary Clinton, winning Maine, Washington, Nebraska, Louisiana, and the U.S. Virgin Islands. The Illinois senator even beat out two former Democratic presidents to take home a Grammy Award last night. His recording of his book, The Audacity of Hope, Thoughts on Reclaiming the American Dream, took the Recording Academy's award for Best Spoken Word Album, topping former presidents Bill Clinton and Jimmy Carter. Tomorrow, Virginia, Maryland, and Washington, D.C. will hold their contests. Democratic White House hopeful Hillary Clinton has a new campaign manager. Maggie Williams is now the New York Senator's chief aide. Williams, who was a top advisor when Clinton was first lady, has taken over for Patty Solis Doyle. Doyle was moved into the role of senior advisor. Clinton shook up her campaign after Saturday's losses to Barack Obama. Defense Secretary Robert Gates is endorsing the idea of pausing the drawdown of U.S. forces from Iraq this summer. This comes as two car bombs killed 11 people in Iraq today during Gates' visit there. For the first time, the defense secretary said that a brief period of evaluation makes sense. His comments come after a meeting with General David Petraeus, the top U.S. commander in Iraq who originally made the recommendation. Five of 20 brigades were scheduled to leave Iraq by the end of July. Gates said that President Bush would have the final say in this matter. And the leader of East Timor is on life support after being shot twice. President Jose Ramos Horta was reportedly the target of an assassination attempt in his country by rebel troops. Ramos Horta is now in Australia for emergency medical treatment. The Southeast Asian island's prime minister was also attacked but escaped unhurt. Thanks for watching today's news headline and be sure to check out our special segments on UPI.com.